Greetings to the beloved brethren, to them that love us in the faith. I would love to share with you, brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus, a word from the living God. Thank God for this moment to be here and to bring his undiluted word to his people. Father, I pray that you will have your will, Lord. Let your will be done. Father, let your word go forth and touch the hearts of your people, Lord God Almighty. Lord, by your words, Father, lift up the spirit of your people. Hallelujah. Bathe your people with your word, Lord God Almighty. Encourage your people with your word in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I cover this message under the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against every plan of the enemy, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of the living God, I pull it down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Father, by your spirit, raise up a standard against the kingdom of darkness lord god release your arrows even now into the hearts of the enemy into the camp of the enemy lord god father i cover this ear space hallelujah under the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Be thou lifted up, almighty God, and be exalted in the name of Jesus. By your spirit, Lord, have your way. Let your will be done. I decrease, Lord God Almighty, and I am asking, Father, that you will increase, Lord, and have your way. Speak to your people, Lord God Almighty, and encourage someone today with your word in Jesus. Jesus Christ's precious name of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And the word today from the living God is a thirsting soul. Hallelujah. And the Lord wants us to thirst after his righteousness. The Lord wants us to pant after him as the deer panted after streams of living water. The Lord wants us to come after him with all our heart, mind, soul, and spirit. The Lord wants us to seek him with everything in us. He wants us to push in spite of all the challenges and difficulties that we are experiencing even in this time the father hallelujah he wants us to be encouraged he wants us to delve into his words to make the time to worship him to exalt him to lift him up to glorify him he says in his word in psalm 150 let everything that have bread praise the lord and we ought to praise him in spite of all that is happening around us because there will always be challenges there will always be difficulties there will always be trying times brethren hallelujah beloved saints of christ there will always be trying times but we have to make the time and i say have to make the time because in this world that we're living in if we do not push to make the time then time will never be because the enemy will always have us being b-u-s-y with something busy under satan's yoke i don't remember where i heard that from i think it was when i was in university but um yes that's what satan wants us to do busy under uh, Satan's yo, B-U-S-Y. And so we have to make the time for the living God. We have to push and be encouraged. And so let me share the word of God with you today. And this is coming from Psalm 63. And I hope it will enlighten someone's uh, spirit and it will encourage someone. That's what the Lord wants today. And that's what he has done with me this morning. And along with this scripture, he gave me the song, uh, Come and quench this thirsting of my soul, bread of heaven. Hallelujah. A lot of us would know that song, bread of heaven. Feed me till I want no more. However, when I am singing it, I say, bread of heaven, feed me forevermore. Hallelujah, bread of heaven, do not quench this thirsting of my soul. I don't want it to be quenched. You know, some, when, you, when you are thirsty and you drink and your thirst is quenched, then 
you go back to doing what you would normally do because you get the energy but i'm saying lord i don't want to be quenched where i feel like i don't have that thirsting anymore so that's what i mean however let me get right into it the word of god says in psalm 63 oh god thou art my god early will i seek thee my soul thirsted for thee my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is i'm reading from the king james hallelujah and that is so true our beloved king david one of my favorite bible character the loved being uh, uh, uh king david excuse me he was saying that he wants the lord to um his soul rather thirsted after the living god hallelujah and his flesh longeth for the lord in a dry and thirsty land where no water is and when i read this this morning I, again this is what came to me there are times when the, the 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 lord says out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water yes and so there are times we're spiritually dry we're spiritually drained yes and so we have to call upon the lord to replenish us to revive us to fill us up again as we thirst for the living god as we desire him more hallelujah we have to ask him to fill us up again and let rivers of living water flow from our bellies quench hallelujah hallelujah we're thirsty so we're asking the lord to fill us up and to lift us up again to raise us up again in the name of jesus christ of nazareth to to just cocoon us in his care and and feed us there and revitalize and rejuvenate us so that we can go again glory to the living god the lord god is beautiful and as we thirst after him he will he will as we thirst after his righteousness we will be filled that's what he says that when you thirst after righteousness you shall be filled hallelujah verse 2 says to seek thy power and thy glory so as i have seen thee in the sanctuary so beautiful king david he wanted to see that glory and that power again that he saw previously and so it is with a lot of us at times we had some beautiful experiences with the lord and then sometimes for whatever reason uh it seems as though they stop right and so we cry out to the Lord, like myself do at times. And I said, Lord, those experiences that I have had with you, they're so beautiful. They are addicting. I need more of you, Father. I want more of you. I want to see more of your glory, more of your power. I want to see you be exalted. I want to see you. I just want more of you. And so that is what King David was saying to the Lord. He wants to see the power, that raw power and the glory of the Lord. You know, when the scripture says the glory of God fill the temple. Hallelujah. That's what King David was talking about. The glory of God fill the temple. And so much so when the glory of God filled the temple, not even the priest could stand to minister. The glory of God is powerful hallelujah when the glory of god comes forth no demons can stand in his presence hallelujah sickness have to flee glory to the living god things that are not holy have to flee in the name of jesus and that is the kind that that's what we need we need the presence of god the the power of god excuse me with the roosters family i am in the country part and yes this is nature beautiful nature that the god of heaven our father has given to us and we cannot escape it glory to god i know some people they love to hear the sound of the rooster 
and yes it is beautiful but sometimes they go on and on but nonetheless that's the work of God and we accept it and we thank him for it yes and so as I was saying the glory of the father is what we want is what we should desire because his presence is awesome the scripture says in his presence there is fullness of joy and that is right and there are pleasures forevermore and so King David was reminiscing on his experience, his former experiences with the Lord. And so he's crying out to the Lord for more. And we should cry out to the Lord for more as well. He went on to say, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Yes, the presence of God, the, 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 the loving kindness of God is better than life. I have had so some experiences, not as many as uh, some people, but I have had my few experiences and I can tell you that it, it, it is like nothing that you can really explain. You, there's no words really, you can try, but it's something that each of us would have to experience for ourselves. The presence of God is a beautiful thing. It is somewhere that we should all desire to be. His presence is lovely. It's, it's truly better than life itself. And when you're in the presence of the Lord, you just want to praise him. You just want to exalt him and glorify him and lift him up because he is so worthy. He's so holy. He's deserving of our praise, brethren. Glory to God. Verse 4 says, Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. We are to lift up holy hands to the Lord. We are to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord wants us to praise him, lift up our hands to him and worship him. No matter what is happening in life. Yes, I know covid wreaking havoc right now <laughs> right but and a lot is going on outside of covid as well even in our daily life personal things right loss of loved one friends and so on finances health etc you name it the challenges are there and they're endless however the lord will not give us more than we can bear and we have to trust in him and know that he's looking out for us and as a result because because he's our father, our creator. He knows what we need and he knows when to give it to us. And so we have to exalt him just the same. We are required to praise him. Hallelujah. Saints of the living God, we were created for the purpose of the king. We were created to serve the almighty creator. Hallelujah. And so let us condition our minds and know it can be hard, but let's condition our minds that no matter what is happening, we're going to praise the Father. We're going to lift up holy hands. We're going to exalt him. Hallelujah. We're going to magnify him and praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Let's move on to verse 5, which speaks of praise and meditation. The Lord says, meditate upon his words. Hallelujah. He said to the, 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 the children, he said, meditate upon this, 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 this law that is written in this book so that it will not depart from you. And when we meditate upon the laws of God, the word of God, it keeps us from sinning. Hallelujah. It keeps us from falling into temptation. It keeps us from walking into the pitfalls and the traps of the enemy. Praise be to the living God. And so my soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. Glory to the name of the living God. Again, 
we are to praise the Lord. We're, we're not to withhold praise from the living God. We are to exalt him and lift him up. We are to shame the enemy. Even when there is challenges and difficulties and setbacks and delays and the enemy is kicking up rumpus against us, the Lord says, hallelujah, praise me, magnify me just the same, glorify me just the same, hallelujah, pray to me just the same because if there is a man to pray, there is a God to listen as well as to answer. And so we have to get to that place where it becomes second nature, where we worship God nonetheless in spite of all that is happening and also to trust him. That can be something that is very hard for the body of Christ to do, to trust God, especially when we're going through some difficult times. It's always easier to trust the Lord when things are going well with us. But can we trust him? Can our faith, will our faith be increased when the, the, the trials, when the tides of life is, 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 is having, a, the tides of life have us going to and fro? Can we trust him? Will our faith increase even more then? Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. So let us open our mouth and praise the living God. Hallelujah. With joyful lips, King David says. So we're not to just be praising him, but we must be doing it with joy. Hallelujah. It must be with joy from the, the, the fruits of our lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches because thou hast been my help therefore in the shadow of thy wings i rejoice hallelujah and so when we can find it in our heart to still praise the living god and lift him up and exalt him hallelujah the lord will come true come through for us sorry the lord will work out things for us the lord will tear down the roadblocks hallelujah the lord will destroy the plans of the enemy the lord will lift us up the lord will magnify us hallelujah to the living god the lord will encourage us in the different ways he encourage us hallelujah whether he speaks to us in our spirit audibly or he sends a, a, a brethren sistering someone to talk to us or even through nature the Lord will encourage us, but we have to be observant. Hallelujah to the living God. We have to commune with the Lord. We have to always keep him in remembrance. King David says, when I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Hallelujah. So when we think upon him and meditate and we remember the things that he has done for us, he took us out of the world. He, he, he cleaned us up hallelujah he took the the garment of the world off of us and he gives us beauty for ashes glory to the living god he he gives us beauty for ashes hallelujah we thought we look beautiful out there but when daddy takes us and clean us up we are more beautiful than we we ever looked because we had on the things of the world but when we are in the living God, when we are in Christ Jesus, the son of the living God, the Lord says he beautifies the meek with salvation. Glory to the King. Hallelujah. And so we are to meditate upon our creator. Because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. He is our help, and so we have to rejoice in the Lord. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. We have to go after the Lord with all our heart, soul, mind, spirit, and body. With everything in us, we go after the Lord. Hallelujah. And the, 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 the righteous, mighty right hand of the living God that is not too short to save, it will hold us up. Hallelujah. He will carry us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He will let us soar with him on high. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. 
So when we are walking with the Lord, when we are covered by him, when we are protected by him, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the Lord will protect us. He will keep us from the enemy. The enemy will not have any power over us when we're walking in faithfulness, in holiness and uprightness before the king. The enemy cannot have control over us. The scripture says that the curse does not come without a cause. Hallelujah. So if we are walking in complete obedience to the living God, when the enemy fashion his weapons and sends them after us, they will not prosper. They will not stick because there's no reason for them to stick. Just the same way when Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. Hallelujah to the living God. The, the, the mouth of the lion, the Lord shut their mouths. And when the king came and says, Oh, Daniel, was thy God able to save thee? He really wanted Daniel to be saved because they tricked him in making that decree so that Daniel would be killed. But the Lord knew that Daniel was innocent of all the charges and so the lord shut the mouths of the lion and daniel was in the den but the lions were unable they were unable to touch daniel they were unable to touch daniel because daniel was not guilty he was innocent before the living God. And that's who we need to be innocent before the living God. Hallelujah. And so those who seek after our souls, they will not be able to destroy us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. And every tongue that rise up against us in judgment, they shall be condemned. But we have to be walking in obedience to the living God. They shall fall by the sword. Glory to the living God. They shall be a portion for foxes. So those who desire our lives, those who seek after the lives of the children of God, mighty God, they shall not prosper. They will not prevail against us. They will not have, they will not have their way against us. Hallelujah. Because the living God is for us. If God is for us, then who can be against us? Hallelujah. And it is God that we need to be on our side. We need not to put our trust in men, in chariots, in horses, nor anything else. But our trust must be in the true and living God. And he will put our enemies to shame. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. So even when the enemy comes up against you, brethren, hallelujah, with lies, when they come up against you with all manner of evil, the Lord will stop them. Huh? No weapon that form. The weapons will form, but they will not prosper. The weapons will form but they will not prosper. And so for them not to prosper, brothers and sisters, we have to ensure that we are serving the Lord sincerely. We are being obedient to his commandments. We are walking in holiness unto the Lord. He says, be holy because I am holy and without holiness, no man shall see God. Hallelujah. So when we're being obedient, we're following his commandments, all 10, not nine. Yes, including the Sabbath. Many of us struggled with, struggle with that. I used to, but then the Lord uh, changed all of that. And so I'm not going to get into that today. However, we have to follow the commandments, all 10. We have to be walking in holiness and uprightness before the living God, in obedience to the creator. Hallelujah. We have to be dependent upon him. Trust him. Put our confidence in him. His, our faith must be in him right and so the lord will keep us from all evil he is our light and he is our salvation and so our trust ought to be 
in the living God, the creator of our souls, the lover of our souls, the God who is married to the backslider, hallelujah, the God of spirits, the creator of the heavens and the earth and all that is within, glory to the king, hallelujah, we trust in him. And so that is the word for today, a thirsting soul a thirsting soul hallelujah and so we ought to thirst after the living god those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled we have to thirst after the lord thirst for his righteousness thirst for more of him hallelujah increase in the lord grow in him be encouraged in the lord remember a thirsting soul Father, I want to thank you for your words. I want to thank you for your message, Lord God Almighty. I thank you, O Heavenly Father, that you are God and that you are our creator. Glory to your name. Father, I pray that you will release your blessings again i ask upon this message lord god almighty and as it go forth lord use your message to touch the heart of your people remove lord god almighty every stony place from the hearts of your people and give them a heart of flesh lord i ask that you will lift up your people O oh Lord God Almighty, raise them up out of the miry clay. Wash off your people, Lord God. Restore unto them the joy of your salvation, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Every chain, every shackles that, that's holding your people bound, loose them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Set them free in the name of Jesus Christ. Pull them out of the reach of the enemy, out of the grip of the enemy, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Clothe your people, Lord God Almighty, in righteousness, in holiness. Put on your garment, mighty God. Hallelujah. Of righteousness. Sanctify your people, O God of heaven. Glory to your name, most high God. Thank you, precious heavenly Father. Lord, do it for your people. Restore them, Lord. Replenish them. Revive them. Revitalize them. Rejuvenate them, Lord. Give them a thirsting again for you, Lord God. A longing for you, O Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, let your people pant after you again as the deer pant after streams of living water. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Heavenly Father, Lord. Free your people, Lord. Hallelujah. Bring your people out of captivity, out of the, the reach of the enemy. Shoot your people out of the reach of the enemy. Pull the enemy, hallelujah, off their heels. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord God Almighty. Take your people off the broad and wide road that leads to hell and destruction and place them on the straight and narrow road that leads to you that very few finds lord god almighty glory to your name heavenly father lord we bless your name we glorify and we magnify your name you are god you are king you are holy be exalted and be lifted up lord god almighty i cover this prayer and this message lord under the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and I seal it with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lord, may it come before you as a sweet, savoring smell, Lord God, into thy nostrils, into thy throne room, Lord. Father, not my will, but thy will be done. Have your way, Heavenly Father. We bless you in Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen and amen. Glory to the King. I hope you are blessed today. I hope you receive the word of God well. Hallelujah. And I pray that you will meditate on the Lord and thirst after his righteousness. God bless you. 
until next time, if the Lord permits me, I love you to the saints, hallelujah, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to your name, Lord God. Until then, see you if the Lord wills. Enough love. Bye-bye.